just to God to ensure they are safe. It's a great task, only meant for the brave. It does make us proud to know that we all play a part to protect our sea. On the bridge, they will understudy or they will watch and observe and learn how the ship's crew and the ship officer drives the ship, keeps the ship safe navigationally, keeps the ship safe uh, with respect to other ships in the sea and making sure that the ship gets to its destination on time. The ETA timing is at 0617. Voice procedures are important because they are a standardised form of giving commands. Press the full code size, spot lookout, lookout centre, red on green 05, on green 175. All contact sighted, reported, final check correct, sir. Very good. If different people work together, we change watches, change different people, and all of them have a different way of giving commands. Everyone will be really confused. Like, if you say, oh, I'll turn the ship like, uh, a bit to the right, a bit to the left, everyone will be, what is a bit? So, we say starboard 10, port 15. Very clear, concise orders. Before MSTD, where we practiced our voice procedures were ship handling simulators. There was a very miniature version of the bridge. We'll have a helms, we'll have screens, where we can see the actual sea condition out there. We practiced in the simulation of the Singapore streets, where traffic is quite dense, so it was quite exciting to con a ship um, in such a, a scenario. For us, it's really a very interesting experience that we really treasure a lot. You know, how many chances can a regular 20 year old, for example, you pick a 20 year old off any street in Singapore and you ask him, have you, have you actually conned the ship before? Very few people can tell you that they have done so. We still have a long way more to go in terms of uh, getting our voice procedures right, but the confidence that everyone is getting um, in practicing being officer on a watch is really building. Man over what drill is a drill that we conduct out at sea uh, to simulate a man who has fallen overboard. We will manoeuvre the ship uh, into a position where we can safely and expediently recover the man overboard. When the man overboard goes over, the ship will turn quickly in order to recover the man overboard. They simulate the man overboard with an orange cherry fender. So you walk around either the bridge or in the bridge wing and you see what they do. The pipes that they make, the flags that they fly, the sound signals that they sound, and then all the other actions that they do. Yeah, today I was given the opportunity to take part in the drill and actually take over command of the ship to pick up the man overboard. I was uh, a bit nervous because it's entirely new to me, but on the other hand, it's also challenging. Uh. We didn't want to make too much mistakes, so I uh, wanted to get everything right at the first time, and yeah, fortunately we did. I think it was a good opportunity for me to learn a lot about uh, the different calling orders of the ship. It was a very, very enjoyable experience. Once the man overboard drill siren was activated, right, everyone just got into place. It really showed how readily prepared the crew were. 
it's the kind of assurance you get that you know if one day you ever land overboard, these people are gonna save you. Yeah, 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 yeah. because we woke up late this morning for bridge watch keeping. And so this was our, our punishment as a division. When Dunwing Thunder Major started giving very fast timing, so there's a tendency to speed up and like open up our stretch and walk very fast. Yeah, so I was, I was standing in the middle, so I was mustering to the front and the back, like, you know, smaller steps, so that you'll make things easier for those who are behind. Nice. The whole intention of having the portal parade is basically to wake them up. It's like a form of punishment because uh, over this period of six weeks, we expect them to have the uh, highest level of discipline. And we look at all angles, for example, for punctuality, for lessons, staying awake during lessons, uh, make sure the domestic things are done properly. <laughs> Today, now today, now today, now today. Officers, obey. Tell you behave yourself. You are the future leaders of the RSN. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. When you are just marching up there and going through it together, you you want to um, not make mistakes, not for your own sake, not just to for self-preservation, but also because you know they will cost your team members a tough lesson as well. Hey, hey, run! Stop! Stop! an open sea, we're in the Indian Ocean. And because it's open sea, we are exposed to strong currents and wind. Because of that, uh, the sea state is getting quite rough. The lower the number, the more calm. So right now, sea state 6 is actually pretty bad. It's actually very bad. Uh, lots of people are puking. Many of my friends are not taking it very well. So I'll be taking a short nap on the table and I'll wake up to this awful sound going like and I'm like <laughs> And then for a moment there I felt obliged to feel a bit seasick just so that I would justify their feelings so bad. But so far I've been really blessed. I haven't been I haven't felt um, uneasy at all out here with the rolling ship and all. <laughs> Whew, the sea state, it makes your mind go wild, go spinning here and there and your head, you get headaches and then you can't concentrate in lessons. So it boils down back again to mental resilience, how much we want to keep pushing ourselves to the limits and pull through during lessons. I get seasick quite easily, so I probably puke like four or five times already. I think that's 
once more. <clears throat> okay, that's it. Actually, all it is is in, it's all in your mind, you know? Because you, you, you see all the senior officers and all, all the officers on board or all the senior ship crew, they actually don't feel much, even though it's C-State 6. That's because their mind is already conditioned, but our mind is not conditioned yet. So the best we can do is just distract ourselves. I guess what's really pulling me through is the faith that people always have more to show, that at the end of the day, we truly have the heart for each other, to work for each other and I'm always looking out for moments where people do something small for each other and it happens every day but one needs to look out for it. Time for me to go shore leave. It's been a few days, we have been thinking about this on ship for quite some time already. So we're going to explore uh, Fremantle. We're going to see what uh, this little city has to offer. He strikes fear in each and every one of the mids. But there's a different side to the mids wing Sergeant Major. Watch this week's bonus video to find out what he does every MSTD that softens that fear. Check out the trivia page to learn more about Ben's and Hitches. And you can read the blog entries by the mids themselves and see photos of the MSTD in the photo gallery. All these at www.navy.sg slash the passage.